Hello everyone, welcome back to all computer classes students. We are studying MS Excel. This is part 9 of chapter 13 and we are going to study using simple functions, right? So these are the some function that we will be learning. Sum, average, count, max, along with max, min, today and if. They are very important and when you will using Microsoft Excel, you will see how important they are right so let's learn it before uh, moving ahead for the practical session we should know some basic things about the functions so using simple function functions are pre-designed formulas to perform simple and complex calculations right so they are the formula but they are pre-designed right function eliminates the chances to write the wrong formula how because they are pre-designed right so when they are pre-designed you need not to type the function in detail you just need to use the syntax as it will be told to you right they accept arguments and return value you will always see a uh, brackets or braces or parentheses in front of the functions name so in that bracket you will always pass some arguments right and that argument will return some value right functions are made up of two parts and those two parts are argument and structure so what is structure first of all structure is this you just see equal to then function name then this parenthesis and within this parenthesis there will be argument right so one thing is structure and this other thing is argument within the structure we pass the argument now let's see in some detail arguments are input value to the function it can be number logical value like true false or range of cells right so you will see what kind of arguments we give in a function right so structure you know this is the syntax always function will start with equal to sign then it will be having a specified defined name right and then in that brackets we will pass the arguments and get the value or answer in return rules to enter the functions right so we have four rules they are very simple very important and very easy to learn right the first rule is all excel function must begin with equal to sign very easy second is function name must be a valid excel name right so it cannot be changed like it is sum it is average so you cannot write avg right so once the average name is defined you have to use the name properly and exactly the same right then function name must be followed by opening and closing parenthesis i just told you the brackets right and within this parenthesis we will pass the arguments right means the overall structure of the function has to be followed equal to sign then function name then opening and closing bracket and in that bracket we will pass the arguments right so these are the four rules now the first function is sum as the name is telling function would be performing the addition so the sum function adds all the numbers in the given range of cells that we specify in an argument so within the bracket we pass the argument so whatever we are specifying inside the bracket some function will be performed on that right so let's see first example it is equal to sign with some name and bracket so what will be the answer answer will be the 1 plus 2 plus 3 so it will be the 6 right then sum a1 to a5 so it means value written inside a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 will be added right now look at this example sum 5 comma 10 so we can understand sum will perform 15 but what about true so true is a text so the true will always have value 1 right it means first of all this true will be converted into 1 and then the sum function will be performed now the answer will be 5 plus 10 plus 1 so it would be 16 right next is sum a1 is to a5 means a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus a5 and whatever answer will we will get in that answer 15 will be added right next is sum in double quotes 
फाइव कॉमा फिफ्टीन कॉमा ट्रू सो दिस इज ऑल्सो अ टेक्स्ट वैल्यू बिकॉज इट इज रिटर्न द डबल कोड्स एंड ट्रू इज ऑल्सो अ टेक्स्ट वैल्यू इट्स इट विल बी कन्वर्ड कन्वर्टेड इन टू वन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फाइव विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू फाइव सो फाइव प्लस फिफ्टीन प्लस वन राइट सो लेट सी हाउ इट वर्क ऑन एम एस एक्सेल शीट नाउ यू सी इफ आई वॉन्ट टू एड दीज थ्री नंबर सो वी हैव टू वेज जस्ट सिलेक्ट दिस सेल्स एंड सिलेक्ट वन एक्स्ट्रा सेल वेर यू वॉन्ट टू गेट द आंसर एंड कम हेयर इन दटो सम एंड क्लिक ऑटो सम एंड यू विल गेट द फॉर्मूला वॉट दिस फॉर्मूला इज टेलिंग इट इज टेलिंग सी थ्री प्लस डी थ्री प्लस ई थ्री सो द आंसर वुड बी यू मस्ट बी वंडरिंग दैट वाई आंसर इज नॉट अपेयरिंग आई विल शो यू द आंसर नाउ वी विल ड्रैग इट नाउ लर्न सम मोर स्किल्स अबाउट एक्सेल हाउ यू विल बी डूइंग इट नाउ विद द सेल रेफरेंसिंग द सेल रेफरेंस हैज चेंज ऑटोमेटिकली राइट नाउ वी विल गो इन द फॉर्मूला एंड वी विल क्लिक ऑन द शो फॉर्मूला एंड आंसर विल बी डिस्प्लेड now you see answer is 53 56 and so on right we had one more formula where we saw it was written bracket where it was written double quotes 5 comma 10 comma true right so we we wanted to see the answer what should be the answer answer should be 5 plus 10 plus 1 why because this 5 is text it will be convert, converted into numeric value this 2 will also be converted into numeric value answer is 16 right so this is how some function works next is average average function returns the average of the range of cells written as an argument in the function it means what will be the average average will be the 1 a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 divided by 4 why because four value has been added right this is how we find the average so the average will be there right so let me show you how average works for example we want to find the average of the student average of the maths right so we will write a v e r a g e average bracket the cell name is e3 e3 2 e11 e11 and bracket close enter this is the average right this is the one way now let's see what is the average marks that tanvi has got so i want to perform the average the simplest way is to select the range of the cells come in the home tab here we have average function right so every tanvi has got average 17 marks right likewise we can see the average of everyone with a cell referencing right so this is this is the average right now let's move ahead and learn more functions next is count so count counts the number of numeric entries formulas or data entries in a given ranges of cells right so what does it mean if you select the range of the cells and it will only count how many cells has a value in it right if you will select the blank cells it will not count those cells right so let me show you how this works for example i select the range of cells right you see i have selected some range of cells and there are some blank cells right now let's go to the auto sum here we have count function so it has given six answer why because only 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 cell was having value this blank cell was not having value so it has not counted those cells right so now you know how count works let's not waste time and move ahead next is max and min function max finds the largest value in the range of cells min finds the smallest value simple now let's see how this works let's find what is the biggest number so let's find the maximum value in this range so what is the name what is the name of the range now 
now let's see what will be the maximum value so how we will write the function equal to max we will write the function equal to max bracket it is f3 to f11 so f3 you will always write the colon not the semicolon so press shift and then use the colon to f11 bracket close this will find the maximum means the biggest value in this range press enter 18.7 you see 18.7 is the biggest value right now let's see the minimum the smallest value in this range we will write we will start with equal to sign write min bracket start f3 colon f11 and bracket close now you see when we write the formula or we when we write the arguments it shows which range it has selected right you can see it it highlights it with some different color bracket close the smallest value is 14.3 you can see by yourself also 14.3 is the smallest value right now the next very important and very easy function is today right so today function is used to display the current date means today's date right so how we will type we will type it simply equal to sign today and bracket close that's it right and then press enter if you want to see today's month it is bit it is looking complicated but you just see function is month function is year and function is day and what is the argument inside the function today itself right so if you write month and within the bracket you write today function then it will display the month if you will write it this way it will show you the year and it will show you the date today right so let's see how this works for example i write here let me magnify this right so if i write equal to today and bracket close so what do you expect it would it should show 22 4 and 2021 20, right so it is like this now format is we can change the format it is a separate topic but we can change the format of the date we can bring it 22 ahead and then 4 right if we want to see today's month we will write month bracket today function bracket close enter so it is fourth month if i want to see year so i'll write year bracket today then today's bracket and then years bracket close right if i want to see the day so it will write day bracket today and bracket close right so it is 20 second there is one more important function which tells you the date as well as the time so that is very important and very easy function that is equal to now and bracket close right so it shows you the date as well as the time it is 657 right now right so let me show you all the functions so that you can remember now you see today month year day and now now we'll show you the date and time today we'll show you only the date right let's move ahead and learn about if function now you can see the name itself is telling it is a condition if like when we talk also we use if so this is a func conditional function it returns one value if a condition evaluates to true and other value if the condition evaluates to false means if within the bracket we will be having two values we will start it with equal to sign then if logical test so what is the condition that will be tested so we will write some value some logical test here if this condition is true then this value will be used means the value in the first bracket will be the answer if this is false the value written in the second bracket will be used as the answer right so example will make you more clear for example some values written in cell a1 right and if the value written in the a1 cell is greater than 100 it means it will return the it means it is true then if it is true it will return 250 as answer if it is small this condition will be false 
and then it will return 200 as a answer likewise this condition is will be tested a3 some value will be written in a3 and if if that value is smaller or equal to 100 then this will be true and answer will be written within the range and if it is false it will be giving answer as a over range right so let's see practically now you see some students has got a grade b grades right so let's automate this how a and b grade can be given using the if function right if you see i want to give a grade to those who have got more than 400 marks and those who are less than 400 they will get the b grade right so how i will write equal to if bracket logical test will be there so what what will be the logical test test will be on c3 cell right if c3 is greater than or equal to 400 bracket a will be the answer comma b will be the answer and let's write them in double quotes as a text value it will be displayed as it is right now bracket close you understand some value was written in c3 cell if the value written in the c3 cell is greater than or equal to 400 if this is true the student will get a grade if this is false if it is less than 400 then b will be used right now drag and see the answer right now let me show you the formulas written inside it look at this formula again right now some student has got a some has got b now what would be the grade of this student this student will get b grade why because the value written in the c4 is not greater than 400 so it is false so answer will be b grade right so students this is very very easy as well as very important try these functions and learn more about it see you in the next video with some more interesting topics of excel so till then take care take very very good care and god bless you all